So everyone always asks me how is the commute living on an island so far away from the city. So today I have a job in Macau. Um, if you're not from Hong Kong, Macau is another country so I literally have to go through immigration and catch an hour ferry. But I live on an island so right now I have to walk to the bus stop, catch a bus, get on a ferry, then walk again, then go through immigration, get on another ferry. So it's a pretty epic journey. I'm leaving at 8.30 and I'll probably be home by midnight. Okay, so here we go. Now here is the driveway down from my house to the bus stop. Now my village is a great mix between old and new. You've got these beautiful old village houses and then you've got new developments, kind of like mine, or kind of, should I say, redone village houses. And then I take the bus and then I head into Muiwo, which is where I catch the ferry into Central. Okay guys, so I, the bus was so full, going so slow, so I missed my ferry. Not a great start to the day because that means I might miss my other ferry. So now is the calm before the storm. I've got 30 minutes to wait at this pier. It's pretty much only McDonald's, so I'm gonna eat some Maccas maybe, and then I'll have a peaceful, slow ferry ride of an hour. And then I've literally got five minutes to run about 25 blocks to get to another district to get my next ferry. Lord help me. So this is my time to relax before I run like a mad woman. So pretty much my choices for the next half an hour while I wait for this ferry are Mac is a bar, I could have a beer, it's only eight, um, or a cafe. But I like my home coffee. I'm so picky with coffee, that'd be good. So I found a cafe. Yay! I don't have to support Mac is, which is a bonus. Praying that this excessive amount of coffee doesn't make me seasick on all these ferries I have to catch today. Mm. That would not be good. Okay, so missing the ferry is quite a normal occurrence when living in Lantau. The bus system is not that great, so pretty often most people miss the ferry. Okay, made it on ferry number one. Now I'm going to watch Netflix for an hour. I've decided to try to meditate and sleep. Okay, the ferry is me time after all, right? Okay, this is it. The crazy run for the other ferry. So you pretty much end up in IFC, the place where I spend a lot of my time running around like a mad woman because this is also where I have my store genie juicery. I am about to walk into the ferry terminal with a lot of minutes to kill. <laughs> I can't believe I made it in time let alone with some extra time. I made it! This is my manager, Maria. I'm sorry! No Did way. I stress you out? No. <laughs> no way. And we're on the ferry. Off to Macau we go. Ooh, look at my hair, it's kind of mad. <laughs> I, ooh, what's that? Oh, we're looking at Vespers, yeah. I need that my sandwich because I'm always starving. So fun. Oh, oh. <laughs> hello gloomy Macau. <laughs> so I pretty much always pack a lunch with me and I'm looking for a Vespa so that I don't have to miss or catch the bus anymore. Four hour commute so far. I'm our driver. <laughs> now I have no idea where we're going. Holiday Inn. The Holiday Inn? Hmm, that seems like City of Dreams to me, Maria. Today I'm working with top Hong Kong stylist, Ricky Kwok. So, we're here now, we're looking for Ricky the stylist, and then we're gonna do a fitting. <laughs> All done with my fitting and now we're about to have some lunch, which I'm always excited about. Managers are four with big boobies so we can have naps on their bosom. <laughs> so pretty much my favourite part about any show is getting the face massage before you get your makeup done. Not all makeup artists do it, but when they do, it is oh so good. 
decided to put looking much better than I did before. A little bit. A lot of people ask me if I can speak Cantonese, and the answer is no, but I'm getting very good at pretending like I can. Let's do my thing and I'm going to make my mission back to Lantau. It's going to take me like four hours. <laughs> Running again. Oh my god. I am a hot mess. I literally ran from one ferry to next. This is the second time today and I have made it by one minute. Holy schmolies. I feel like I'm gonna actually have a heart attack. The later the ferry, the more interesting the characters on it, that's for sure. So guys, I'm almost at the end of my journey, walking home. It's 10.30 I think right now, and I'm on the final stretch of getting home. Oh, I'm about to get run over by a car too. Hi! It's my neighbour. Apparently he's the village elder, but he likes me so I'm good. Um, yeah, this is the final stretch. Oh, look at the moon! Home, after a long day. So, for all of you that asked, how is it to live on Lantau and how is it to commute? Would you do it? <laughs> oh my God. It's tricky, but it definitely is worth it for the quality of life you get on days where you don't have to commute into the city. So, until next time, guys. Sweet dreams! Home sweet home.